worst things about living in shady side is what we're going to talk about. You're not going to want to miss this. Number one is cost of living in shady side. So the typical home value in shady side is just over four hundred six thousand dollars. Now the median price point in Pittsburgh is around one hundred sixty to one hundred eighty. So you can see that's substantially over two times more than the average sale home price in Pittsburgh. So this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the median price tier value of home. Shady side values have gone up one point six percent over the past year and Zillow predicts them to rise 4.2% in the next year. That's pretty substantial. All right, number two of the three worst things about living in Shadyside is parking. So really you can put parking and potholes in just about every worst thing or con video I ever do anything in the city of Pittsburgh. But yes, parking is definitely an issue. And I'm going to go over some parking options. So first of all, there is a two our free parking on the residential streets just off of the main streets of Walnut, Ellsworth, and South Highland. Look for the green permit signs for details. Second place is going to be pay parking lots located between Bellefont and Ivy. These parking lots are parallel to Walnut Street, which is the main street running through um, with the shops, coffee, and restaurants, etc. through Shadyside. It's the big draw. You can park up to 10 hours. You walk up on the street and there's those pay machines where you put your license plate in and your credit card and, and all that type of stuff. So there's those type of digital pay machines. So if you don't want to use this machine, there is the Go Mobile PGH app, which I use all the time. It's great. You put your credit card number in once, you put your license plate for ver multiple cars in once, and then um, no matter where you are, you could pull up that app and um, start pay for parking. And then it'll, if you set it for an hour and you're gonna be there an hour and 10 minutes, it will notify you that, hey, your time's almost up. You need to re-up your funds, um, your parking, so you don't get a parking ticket. So there is a Shadyside garage and that's located right in the, the heart of Shadyside's Walnut Business District. And it provides a convenient, some convenient off street parking. You know, in addition to a central cashier, there are the pay by foot machines again, or you can use that Go Mobile Pittsburgh app. Um, Aiken Avenue also has a parking garage. It's uh, the address, the GPS address is 525 South Aiken Avenue. Um, there's a big UPMC sign in front of it. It's a multi-level garage. So I wanna dive into the Walnut Street garage a little bit further with some details here. The garage capacity there is about 208 vehicles and it's open 24 seven, seven days a week. So if you wanted to have a day lease, that's 24 hours, you can get that for around $225 a month. And again, you're gonna to wanna to check all these prices with their website. They may have um, raised them at, over the course of time. It depends when you're watching this video. Now, if you're parking an hour or less, it's $3. Three hours or less, it's $6. Five hours or less, it's $9. And over five hours, it's $12. So again, parking is kind of an issue and that's bullet point number two, the second worst thing about Shadyside. Um, but there are definitely some options out there that I have just went over with you. Now, I wanna make sure you understand when you're watching this video, it was tough to find any worst things about Shadyside. I really struggled. I know Shadyside pretty well, been through there well, and it's just, it's just such a great area. So again, the negatives are gonna be, the first thing would be the cost of living. It is kind of a high cost of living there. The second thing is definitely parking. I went over a couple things there and I wanna get into the third thing now. So, but I really struggled, again, I can't reiterate it enough. Shady, Shady, Shady Side is such a great area. I really struggled to find anything. I made a post out there to my Facebook friends and said, what, do you, what don't you like about Shady Side? And I, there must've been 20 posts and I think 18 of them were parking. So um, Shady Side is overall a very good area. So the third worst thing about living in Shady Side is, well, you know, unless you live there, it's not really easy to get to. And I'm going to do this presentation, this bullet point via map. Before I show you this map, what I want you to do is hit the subscribe button right here. Hit that subscribe button right there. Tap the bell over here, ding, 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 ding. And make sure you get all notifications because you don't want to miss any of these videos. I, you know, you don't want to have to go out and find my videos. You want them to be delivered right to your app and that'll handle it. Okay, so um, the third worst thing about living in Shady Side, and, and listen, it, there's so many good things about living in Shady Side. I really had to nitpick here, is unless you live there, and you can see, I mean, look, there's the river. Of course, we got main highways that will run along the river. So the further away you are is tougher to get to. Um, unless again, you live there, you live in Squirrel Hill, or you live downtown. So for instance, let's take where I live. I live right here in Mount Washington. So between here, 
and there is a hill I've got to go down, a bridge and a red light with possible traffic I have to go. And then this is, I have to get on the main highway and then get off and head up to the middle. Like this is the middle between this river, the Monongahela and the Allegheny River. It's smack dab in the middle. So it's not easy to get there. I mean, you know, our hill, our, our, our traffic, our roads are all two lanes. So there's a decent amount of traffic. There's a lot of stoplights and a lot of people. So it's just not easy to get to. I'm, I'm telling you, when the weather is nice, I will jump on my bicycle. If I have time, if time permits, I will jump on my bicycle and head over to meet somebody for lunch or brunch or um, dinner if I can uh, dress appropriately and head over on my bike and get there just as fast, if not faster than a car. Cause it's just, it doesn't look like much here. Now, if you were looking at air miles, you know, the way the crow flies, if you were jumping in your, putting your jet pack on and, and heading over or taking a helicopter over, yeah, it's like five minutes away. If you Google it, it's five minutes away. But it's just the amount of stuff you have to go through to get there. These are all small roads, etc. In between there and there, there's so many other places I can go to. I can go anywhere in the city, anywhere in the south side for whatever it is I might be heading to um, in Shady Side. And again, now, you know, if you're living in Shady Side, it's pretty good. I could jump over this way if I want to go north. So this is north, west, south and east um you don't usually go east i don't think anybody ever heads out to frankstown or west eastwood i've never even heard of that nobody goes this way you jump on eight and you either go down to um uh, route 28 eight takes you to 28 28 is a main thoroughfare eight's a relatively main one then you head north if you're going to the north of pittsburgh uh, if you're heading east you would jump on route eight and then catch 376, which is the major, major artery. This will take you all the way to the airport. If you follow it through the point out this way, this takes you to the airport, um, which is probably one of the, you know, the biggest draws, the biggest places you would uh, head to. And if you wanted to go out to Eastern Pennsylvania or the East Coast, you would go out this way. The Turnpike will also take you out there. So if you're living there, it's, it's nice. There's no doubt about it. But if you're not living there and you want to get there, traffic in this eastern part, the center part between the two rivers, seems to be, um, I don't know, kind of a problem to get to. So I, I tend to stay away from the east and so do a lot of people. And actually, that was one of the, I made a Facebook post asking people what the, some negatives are about Shady Side, And um, th that's, this is one of the comments. And that is, if you don't live there, it's just not easy to get to. So you have the airport at the other end of 376 this way is the big draw. And then the turnpike, that's 76 Pennsylvania Turnpike. That'll take you out to the eastern um, coast if you're going out there for uh, a beach, uh, for a vacation, etc. All right. Uh, that is the three worst things about living in Shadyside. Side.